Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name's North and today I'm going to be looking at taking the paint off the carriages that were given to me by Anthony on my visit to Strathmore Road Junction. So without further ado, let's get on with it. So as you can see, I've got my three coaches here. Um, now it does seem to be that this coach here, these seem to be quite damaged. Um, this one is broken um, and these do seem to be quite uh, quite in worse repair. This one however seems to be quite a bit different. Uh, it has different sets of bogies on. Uh, it's made by Hornby. Um, so I'm going to go with this one and do my experimenting on this one first and see if I can get that one looking reasonable and then if that works I can see what I can do with the other two. So let's get those out of the way and we'll concentrate on this one. So the first thing I've got to do is uh, dismantle it, which will be interesting because I've never done that before. So I'm going to get on with that and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so that was fairly interesting. Um, I undid the two screws, as you can see here and here, and they turn out to be long screws that go obviously all the way up to the roof. The roof then fell off. Um, I think there should be a screw there as well. There seems to be a screw hole here. But the roof fell off. Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of white tack in it. Uh, I don't know whether that's for weight or something. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's quite uh, interesting to see what I can find. Um, also, the windows seem to be held on with um, white tack as well. Uh, oh, and there's some other kind of glue here. So. Um, yeah, they don't seem to have a line through them, and they do. So I'm going to take all this out, and, um, and then we'll have a look at uh, seeing if this side comes off as well. We may be able to do um, all the different bits in uh, uh, separately. So it will literally be spraying two sides, which will be interesting. Okay, so I'll get all that cleaned up, and then I'll come back to you. Right then, fairly easy. Uh, I took this uh, piece of metal out. This was... Um, just in there for weight obviously it was held in by some tape which has obviously seen better days so that gets put in the bin uh decided to use the white tack to uh, look after the two brass screws um so they're nice and safe over there now and we've now got a chassis um which is not going to get painted by me um i may paint the ends i may look at uh, touching up the ends but um <clears throat> for now uh, the chassis will be left as it is so it is literally just a case of um, stripping these down. Um, for a start, these uh, I know these uh, um, stripes are just literally stuck on. So uh, obviously I can remove those. Now, as far as transfers are concerned, I might have to get some transfers that are relevant to uh, the era I want these coaches to be. Um, obviously I'm going to have to do some research on that. But... Uh, I'll get all these stripped down and get the windows out and then uh, we'll have a look further at stripping the paint. So, see you in a moment. Right, I've got most of the acetate. Okay, so I've got most of the acetate out of the sides. Um, as you can see, it's been uh, glued in with some, uh, looks like Gorilla Glue, very strong glue that's expanding uh, glue, um, like a polyurethane glue. So um, a little bit overkill, I think, really, for uh, windows in a coach. Um, so I'll be putting some new acetate in, but I obviously need to get this down because this is, uh, I don't know whether you can tell, but this is obviously quite rough um, and is not very flat. So obviously that's going to make the windows sort of look like they're... Um, sort of coming in and not actually part of the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and use a Dremel tool to smooth these out and get them uh, ground down as best as possible. And uh, then I'll come back and we'll show you the finished product and then we shall look at stripping the paint off them. So see you in a minute.
So as you can see it does remove. I'm just using a sanding disc here. Um, but just be careful because the plastic can get melted away as these are usually run at quite high speeds. So um, I'm going to carry on and do the rest of it. Uh, right then, so after a little tidy up, it still looks a bit messy, but it is flat. So, or well, for the most part it's flat. Um, good enough to be able to stick some acetate in uh, flat and put some windows in. Um, so the next bit is to remove this. So here we are. All I've set up is that this thing here is a uh, really useful box. Uh, I believe it is uh, nine liters. Um, it's propped up, uh, tipped up forwards um, with, with, well, just just with a bottle of uh, sunscreen actually. Um, so they just obviously I don't have to use so much liquid because it's all going to tip this way. Um, first liquid I'm going to try is one that's been recommended on many forums etc and that is brake fluid and there it is brake fluid dot four dot three or four or I think dot five point one but not dot five because dot five apparently melts plastic so don't use that one um, this was really cheap from said place um, it was only about four quid 500 mil so We'll have a go at that. Just before I start, I am wearing a res I'm going to be wearing a respirator, uh, but I am in a room that is uh, fully open to the outside. So um, do use this in a well ventilated room because it stinks. So there we have it. There's the start of it. Um, just going to make sure that that gets nicely covered. Um, I've used about it's 500 mil. I've used about a quarter of it, so not used a lot. Um, that's quite good because of the fact that this thing came apart um, for those couches that uh, stay stuck to the roof and are all one molding um, you're obviously going to use a little bit more but I should imagine that the 500 mil would be enough so what I'm going to do is um, that will not stay in shot I'm going to leave that in there for uh, the recommended from what I've read 10 minutes and uh, then we're going to brush it off with the soft toothbrush so see you back in 10 minutes Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. It doesn't look any different. What I'm going to use is one of these. It's just a really soft toothbrush and uh, it cost me all of 50 pence. Um, obviously, you've seen the change in colour in my hands. Don't go putting your hands in this stuff. Um, none of it's any good for, you, for our hands. So uh, just be careful. Um, make sure you've got some decent uh, nitrile gloves of some description so that... Uh, you don't go burning yourself so let's see if this has actually worked well I don't know what this paint is but it's pretty tough um, seems to have not touched it at all I don't know what it's done on the back obviously these were originally blue um, so I don't know what it's done to the back of it at all but it doesn't seem to have done anything to the paint so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in for a bit longer and um, we'll come back in half an hour's time and uh, see if that does anything. So it's been uh, about an hour. Um, I have started to notice now that this is working slightly. As you can see, there's some um, paint starting to come off. Um, it's starting to strip off the edges there a bit. Look, see that's coming off with a gentle brush. So it looks like brake fluid does work, but it's not a 10 minute job. Um, in fact, it's uh, over, a, over an hour's job. So if you're gonna do something like this and use brake fluid, then I would suggest you set yourself a, part, a, a good day, really to get it all done. As you can see this, oh, knocking the camera there. As you can see, there's plenty of uh, paint now coming off 
um, in this. It certainly is destroying it. So I'm going to agitate it somewhat on the top, uh, scrape it off with this soft brush. Um, I don't want to scrub it too hard. Um, but yeah, it's working. So I'm going to get those bits off the top that is... Um, it's already sort of it's eaten into um, from what I can see I don't think it's damaging the plastic at all uh, it shouldn't do but um, there's always that worry so um, but I don't think it is but we should be left with a clean base um, to do some spraying on so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in there um, it still needs a good a good soak so I'm going to leave it in there for perhaps another two hours um, I'll come back to it after another hour uh, and see what it's been doing um, it does need a, a pretty good soak to get this off um, as you can see all the numbers just came right off there so, a uh, little update, there will be another update in another another hour or so, and see how that's going. I am changing my gloves regularly, by the way, um, I'm, I'm not trying to keep these gloves. Uh, if you buy them, buy a box, they're only about five quid for a hundred, you know, so that's 50 pairs, you'll be well, uh, well in, but well worth the investment. So, um, there it is, so brake fluid does work. Uh, the next one we'll try, we're going to try some um, methylated spirits because I've been told that that works as well and see how, how, how quick and how well that removes paint. So, um, in a bit. Hi there, well we're back after um, two and a half hours and as you can see, you may be able to see, that's actually quite bubbled up quite nicely and a lot of this come off and as I suspected it was an intercity and in fact an intercity sleeper there you go oh which is just wiped off so it was an intercity sleeper as I suspected it was an intercity because the windows seem to be a little bit odd um, and of course the windows then are a little bit odd if you're going to paint it crimson which is what I was going to do um, I may as yet redo the blue and grey and uh, put it back to what it sh should have been um, so we'll have to see but as you can see the, the um, brake fluid is working uh, it is bringing the paint off um, so update there we okay, go so I've left it for um, a good few hours now um, so it's had about three hours um, as you can see the paint is coming off um, it is coming off really really well with uh, with a little brush here we go day two we got to this stage uh, as you can see this in the sunlight so hopefully you will be able to see it very well um, it's gone down it was an intercity sleeper cab um, there are still some little bits of uh, paint still in the windows here but um, I can end up sort of scraping them out with a blade, uh, which shouldn't be. As a you can see, I'm just knocking this stuff off now. It just it does work. Um, it hasn't taken the Hornby paint off, however, it did start to take the Hornby paint off. So, for for those of you, I think if you'd left it in about 24 hours, um, that would have taken everything off. So overall, quite pleased with brake fluid. It does work, but it is a little bit sort of messy. I would suggest you leave it in. It hasn't damaged the plastic. I would suggest you leave it in probably about 24 hours. Uh, we're going to try some uh, meths. So as you can see, I've got some lovely oops, coloured meths there. Um, and this is going straight in. We'll see what happens. And there you go. So I'm going to leave that for a few minutes uh, and then we'll see exactly what it might have done or might not have done to the paint or plastic. Okay, so it's been five minutes. Let's just have a quick look and see if the, it does anything to it. Oh, it's already 
fetching it off after five minutes. So that's um, a promising sign. It's already lifting some of it. So um, yeah, right. We will uh, leave it in for if that's what it does in five minutes. I say we'll leave it in for another twenty minutes, maybe ten. See what it does in that time. Back in a mo. Okay, so we're here, 10 minutes. As you can maybe see, it has certainly bubbled up. Whoops, getting in the light there. It's certainly bubbled the paint up uh, quite a lot. Um, I'm going to scrape it off down here. See if I can scrape it off. It is literally coming off in a sheet. Well, I didn't even need the brush. Um, whether it gets off the Hornby paint, though, I don't know. Because the Hornby paint might be a little bit too tough for it. Um, in which case, something like your Dot 4 then would, um, on a long soak, would actually remove that as well. If you really wanted to get it down to the whole plastic. Leave it in for another 10 minutes. I think that should about do it. Um, and it should be pretty clean. So back in 10. So again, make sure you read the label, dispose of these things properly. Don't just tip them down the sink. It's never a good idea to tip anything like this down the sink. Uh, there is usually at the tip, uh, your local tip, there'll be somewhere to dispose of uh, this type of stuff. So but there you have it. Really pleased with the methylated spirit. Just going to spend some time brushing this up, but I think you'll uh, agree that's done a pretty good job of removing the paint and it doesn't seem to have damaged the plastic at all. So, uh, good on methylated spirits. So, here are the two sides after we've uh, already removed the burgundy paint that was, uh, or maroon paint that was put on. I believe it was acrylic, but I really don't know. Uh, and I think it was hand put on by hand, not not airbrush. Um, as you can see, they're both stripped. Uh, this has taken a lot of scraping to get most of the things off. You can sort of missed missed a few pits there in the windows, um, but just the back of your blade of your, your a normal scalpel will uh, just scraping away like this will remove all that. Um, so that's what I've been doing and that's taken me about 20 minutes to do uh, however it only took about 20 minutes to strip all the paint off um, so in total less than an hour with the methylated spirits this has removed a lot more and it would remove this Hornby paint as well uh, if I left it in long enough so everything would go back down to that plas blue plastic um, it hasn't damaged the plastic in any way. Uh, the, the detail is still, uh, I don't know whether you can actually see that, but the detail is still there. Um, so I don't know how much detail was on it to start with, but I, I imagine it won't be any more, much more than what is there now. Um, so the Dot 4 will not damage the plastic. It will remove most of the paint and it will remove any stubborn paint that you have. So both good options for removing paint. Uh, dot 4 a little bit more messy. Uh, methylated spirits definitely quicker but doesn't remove so much. But if you're respraying anyway then it will remove enough for you to uh, to recoat uh, with a decent primer and um, then obviously top coat colours. So there you have it. Two options for removing paint. Both are messy. Both cannot be washed down the sink, so do remember that. Don't uh, start throw, washing these away down the sink. You've got to put them into a bottle and take them to your local tip or however your local council tell you how to get rid of such chemicals. Um, there is a third option, and I may look at doing that uh, in the future, uh, and that's sandblasting, and to see how that affects the... Um, the surface of the plastic but certainly these two do not affect the surface of the plastic 
So, two good options. And now we'll move so, on. I'm not sure whether you can see particularly well, but I made myself a little sandblasting unit, um, which does work. Uh, it blasts sand. Um, it uses an awful lot of sand. It uses an awful lot of air. I've only got a six litre um, tank on my compressor, but even if you've got a 24, to be fair, it uses an awful lot. And the results, as you can see, I can usually end up clearing about that much paint. So it is working. Um, it's working pretty well. But for a whole tube of this full of sand and this much mess, um, that is all that's happening. Um, and I can, I can guesstimate this is going to take me hours because I keep having to obviously refill that. If you have a uh, sandblasting unit or uh, a proper box, then um, you could probably have a go at sandblasting stuff. But uh, pro other than actually buying a professional sort of kit with a lot of sand, um, I mean, I only have a small amount of sand, uh, a small bag of sand, um, but, yeah, even if buying the proper proper sort of sand, it's still going to take an awful long time to do. And um, I don't think it's actually going to be worth it. Uh, so I think one of the other um, methods will be better, even though it's a bit of a pain clearing them up. Um, yeah, certainly better using either meths or um, dot four brake fluid, depending on... Uh, how much and what type of paint you're removing so there it is folks thanks so much, so much for watching and thank you to all my subscribers so far I really do appreciate it and if you did like the video please like and subscribe it really does help thanks for watching again bye for now